Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, and this is another deep dive into Lightburn. So let's take a look at what we're going to be talking about today. This is a, uh, a, a, a look at how to make any font float using Lightburn. It's going to appear to be jumping off the page or jumping off the surface of your engraving. And this is a, a really simple, simple uh, way to make any font come to life. Uh, and while having to go and download it, you're using the fonts you already have. All right. Six simple, easy steps. We did the shadow in last week's video, and I'll put a link to that video in the description and at the end of the video. But that was uh, not that. That was, see, here we go. So if we look, this is regular Arial Black. This is nothing but a regular Arial font. And we looked at how to do this shadow on the same font last week. This week, I'm going to make it floating. Make it rise above the actual shadow. This is really simple, really easy to do. I'm going to show you six simple steps. I'll even put up a, a printed set of notes that you can freeze your, stop your uh, play and actually read that just in case you want to refer back to this. But let's keep this short and simple. This series of uh, diving into Lightburn is going to be something that's going to be recurring every week. They're going to be short, sweet, and to the point. So here we go. Let's come over here and grab a font. Let's move this off the page, and we'll do. We'll stay with Arial uh, Black. It's a big, bold font. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. Let's do floating. Put it on the double alt layer. All right, so that's just simply typed out one word, and now I want to make it float off the page. So if it wasn't selected, or if you had multiple pieces of text that you wanted to do this on, you would select it all, group it all, but then once you've got whatever you want to create, make float, you simply select it, create three duplicates by hitting control D three times, one, two, three. Now, one of those duplicates is already selected. If you set your move tab, come up here to the gears. You might do this beforehand. If you don't know, uh, I always try to keep my shift arrow setting at one millimeter. You can use an arrow mo movement at another value and then uh, like this one at about a half mil and say okay. So if you, you've controlled, you've got your move tab set correctly, you've got one of the duplicates selected, now hold shift and move it three times horizontally and vertically in whatever direction you want that shadow to be in. So I'm going to move this one over uh, right, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three. Now I'm going to simply come up here and select one of the originals. There's, remember, there's duplicates up here. And this one, I'm only going to move one millimeter in each direction. So holding shift, I'm going to move over one and down one. Now I'm going to come down here to the bottom where I can see this. If this was in wireframe, it'd be much easier and I'll show you. But if I select the first one I moved, holding shift, select the second one and use the Boolean over here, A subtract B, you get that. But if you'll notice, you've got this overlapping piece here. That's not going to work. And over here on the O. So now what you have to do, that's still selected. That's your result of your Boolean subtraction. Holding shift while that's selected. Select one of the other duplicates and do the same Boolean subtract again. Now you're left with that. Well, that's still not your end result. Come back to your original font your original text and to do an offset of a point two inward do not delete the original and if it's a you want corners then you do corner like this one with Arial you want corner text if you were using something with a script you would use a round uh, offset say okay and that quick we just created floating text 
Now, just so you can see how quick and how easy, and I'm going to put this one in wireframe mode this time. In fact, we'll just undo all that. Undo, 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 undo. All right, let's move that back to center. All right, and I'm going to go to Alt Shift W. Oops, there we go. Alt Shift W and put that in wireframe mode. Now, with that selected, I'm going to create three duplicates. Control D, one, two, three. Holding Shift, one, two, three, one, two, three. Come up here and select one of those duplicates. Holding Shift, one, one. Now select the first one I moved, A. Hold Shift, select that one, subtract. Hold Shift, select one of the duplicates and subtract. Hold Shift and select this and do my offset of a .2 and go back to a field with alt shift w and i've got that it's not hard and now let me put the notes up for you so you can read it notepad so create three copies of your text or group of text or text and font and it doesn't have to be text you can do this with uh, images as well Move your last duplicate horizontally and vertically three millimeters. Select one of the original duplicates and move it one millimeter, both horizontally and vertically in the same direction. Select the first text you moved three millimeters and holding shift, select the second text you moved one millimeter. Use the Boolean tool to subtract. Now hold shift again and select the original duplicates one of the original duplicates and use the boolean subtract again. Select the original text and do an n-word offset of a point two. So you can freeze that and look at it. But this is simple, it's quick, it's easy, and you can do this with any font. In fact, just for giggles, let's do it with a brush script real quick. Let me come back over here, go to Lightburn, and switch you over and this time let's do text and let's do hobo with wood and let's do brush brush script where are you at brush script right there all right so and you know what let's make it bold and let's get all of these down here out the way three duplicates control D one two three move that one two three one two three select one of the originals put it in wireframe mode alt shift W there we go Select one of the originals and move it one, one. Then move down here, select my very first one. I move three mil, A, subtract B. That's selected now and that's A and hold shift, select the other one and subtract B. And then select the original and do an offset of a point two inward. Do not delete the original and do round this time because I'm using that brush script and say OK and let's do Alt Shift W put it back in fill mode or wire or yeah field display and there we go we've got a floating hobo with wood hope you found this informative easy to do and you can always go back and freeze frame it and see those instructions if you have any questions put them in the comments to let me know and we'll see you next week with another quick and easy tip and having fun with lightburn i'm steve hobo with wood and i'm out